Hello. Hey, how you feeling, Trey? Feel great. How was how was the the trip? That's a long drive. It was a nice trip. Um, it was a nice trip. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, I'm trying to sugarcoat it and make it sound like it was a good trip, but I don't know. It was a long drive. Uh, I was very comfortable though. Like you know, I was in the third row, riding with Alex and Zach, and uh, they had podcasts playing. You know, it was good vibes the whole way, but then uh, it got to a point where I was ready to get out of the car, and sure. then I realized I had to get back in the car and go back to Blacksburg and do the same thing again, so I don't know. It was fun. Uh, I'm glad I got to go to Miami, though, because I didn't get to go my sophomore year. You uh, you had that, that nice one-handed catch. What what did you see on that play? And, um, you know, obviously you didn't get to play in the second half, but, mm -hmm. you know, you had a pretty solid impact when you were out there in the game on Saturday. Yeah, uh, I mean, on the play, it's, a, it's just a simple saying, see ball, get ball. It's Wiggins Wiggins taught me that my freshman year. Uh, shout out to Coach Wiggs. But he told me whenever the ball in the air, just go get it. And, uh, that's just what I just try to do, especially the position that I was in. Like on that play, I wasn't in the right position to make the catch, but I knew I had to go get it because we needed that spark on offense. Like guys on the sideline telling me before the drive even started, like, Trey, we're like, we need you. Like, you got to do something. And I just took it upon myself to make something happen in the end zone. You've played in this rivalry for a couple years now. Mm -hmm. You've had some big moments. Mm -hmm. How. Recording How in progress. How excited you now to go to Charlottesville? And you know, last time you guys were there, it didn't turn out well. To 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 get back on the right track against them and to retain the cup, and you know, uh, you're fighting for a bowl game too. Just everything kind of culminating in this final game. Uh, I mean, me uh, and this team, honestly, like we we all know what we have to do going into this game. Uh, big time rivalry. Like it's not like it's, it's just another game. It's not it's not just another game. It's UVA's. Hashtag hate week like it, it all means that like if you if you can't be fired up to play this game like you don't even need to be going out there because we know what we have to do we got to get to that sixth win and we got to get to this uh, second win in a row versus UVA and get that cup and keep it like just like we already got it we're gonna keep it like that's the plan so what have you noticed about Dwayne's work ethic you know he had his they won. first du Dwayne they won. won. Well, and his first career touchdown catch yeah. this weekend. How excited were you for him? I was excited just seeing him and Jay Jones go out there ball. Like I've been, I've been saying it since camp. Like our young guys, they're going, they're ready to work, they're ready to play, and uh, they really went out there and showed. Like I, I was really proud. Like I almost shed a tear watching. They one had a big catch. Uh, I don't know how he caught it. He had a big catch, and then he had a touchdown on the same drive. So I'm like, yo, like it's all, it's all paying off. Like I, I'm loving to see the work they've been putting in. Like they've kept their head down the whole season. They haven't been shying away from opportunities. They've been attacking everything every day the same way. And uh, I really appreciate those young guys. Obviously, it hadn't been. It's been a tough week last week with mm -hmm. with everything that happened. But, mm -hmm. um, talking to your teammates after the game, you know they they were praising how much of a tight knit group this is. And you guys have talked about it all season. How have you guys come together and and you know, stayed focused on the game last week and this game this weekend. How how much has JC and the rest of the coaching staff helped you guys with that? Uh, it wasn't it wasn't hard for us to stay together. We kind of just we've been together the whole season. Like we, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say we knew it was gonna happen, but it, as time went on, like we had senses for what was gonna happen. But we just always stayed together. We like nothing changed after what happened last week. It was like that day. Maybe feelings were all around the place, but. We know as a team we still had two games left in the season. We had to go out and win. Like, so we didn't get the result we wanted last week. But this team is even ready, even more ready now because we got we got UVA and we got the bowl to go attain in one game. So that's that's big for this team, and I know we want to go get it. You were at UVA two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's hard to forget. Hurt. It's kind of like I just got punched in the gut. Uh, I don't know. Seeing the fans uh, storm the field and just thinking about the fact that we just ended, we lost the streak. I don't know. It was it was it was hard. It was tough. Uh, I knew we had to go get it back the next year though, and that's what we were gonna do. But I'll never forget that pain that I felt in 2019. And uh, it's gonna be big to go get this win on the road because I haven't won in Charlottesville and I plan on winning I this week. Uh yeah, comparable? uh, only comparable feelings probably. I don't know. We've lost a lot of nail biters, a lot of close games. So I mean, anytime we lose, I I feel a certain type of way. But whenever it's you know last drive of the game, like there's no time left, we can't do anything about it. This that hurts. Like it, it sucks the life out of me, honestly. And then what kind of motivation does that provide? You know, you did win it 
that lane, but to go back to that place and obviously you'll have those emotions again, come flooding back from memories. What have you guys kind of done to prevent that outside of just practice, just mental toughness? Uh, just, I'm sure everybody that was on that team remembers that feeling, and I know we don't want to feel that feeling again. And uh, I think that's that's where everybody's headed. Like, they don't, no one wants to lose, and we just came off a loss. So. Did you watch the UVA Pitt game last on Saturday? Um, I guess not. No, I didn't. I was about to say I had a game, so I couldn't really watch it. Um, you know, have you, what do you know about Virginia's defense? And you know, they almost punched the coastal in that game, and uh, they were able to shut them down. What do you have you seen from Virginia so far? They're good. They're decent. Uh, they do a lot of different looks on defense, so it's uh, it's not like we're just a, we're ready for one look that we're gonna get. It's multiple looks that we're gonna get, but that's been the same way all my whole career playing against them. Like I've been ready for whatever look they throw. Uh, their offense is pretty good. They're very electric. Uh, I know our defense is ready to take that challenge, and I know as a whole, as a team, we're ready to play against our rival and ready to beat our rival. So I'm ready to go do it. Scott to Zoom, Aaron McFarland. Hey Trey, I don't think Hi. anybody would have blamed. I don't think anybody would have blamed you last week if you just said, "Well, it's, you know, it's a long trip. I, you know, the health stuff. I'm just going to take this one off." What were the What was the motivator for you to get in that car and, and do that? To play with my teammates. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I never second guessed it. Like I didn't, I didn't think twice about it. Whenever they told me I couldn't fly, I'm like, okay, so who's driving me? It's, it wasn't, it wasn't like I thought about like maybe I'm not gonna go. Maybe I, maybe I'm going. Like it was, who's driving me down there? Let's make sure we get this settled so we can get down. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not just gonna pick and choose like not to play with my brothers. Like this is this is my family. This is my team, and I'm gonna play every game that I can play with them. You know, and last year when when you guys beat UVA and decided you know, as a team, not to go to a bowl. Um, what did you, did you, did you, were you a dissenting opinion in that? I mean, did you actually want to go to a bowl that last year and, and you didn't, or, or were you kind of done with last season and ready to get on with, with the off season and, you know, preparations for this year? I'm a punt to Pete. He punted to Pete. All right, David Teal. Trey. JC's love for Virginia Tech and Hokies football has been evident to us every time we've spoken with him. Is it equally evident to you guys in your interactions with him? Um, it's it's been like that with him since he got here, since the first day he got here. Uh, y'all, the fans just didn't see that. Like he he didn't have the head coach, interim head coach job title, so nobody really paid attention to the energy that he brought, but. Being a D line coach, like you gotta come with, like you gotta bring the energy with you, like like that's how that's how he was coming every day in practice, and then now he's now he's has that spot, and it's it just shows to the whole team now, like now the whole team really sees like the emotion that he had as a former player, like coaching this team, like he tells us how much he loves his team, cause like he he really started like he's he really started a, a, a lot when it comes to Virginia Tech football, and. Uh, it's it's hard to not really want to fight for him. Like whenever you just see the emotion, like he's giving, like as a coach, like the words that he's saying, the things that he's doing for us, like, it's hard to just not want to go and just lay it all on the line. So it's infectious, and in oh, for sure, it definitely it, like his energy is definitely giving us life uh, as a team. Like uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that like we just we're all like, just excited now, but we all like we're all juiced up. We're always ready to just go out and play like practice every day like I don't know it's it's nice it's nice to have them. especially that energy Mike Barber hey, Trey I, I was talking to Joey Blunt and, and he said that sports writers forget that even though it's a rivalry that when you play a lot of years in it you start to respect each other um, I'm curious do you feel the same way uh, and what has been your competition with Joey you asking if I respect him? I guess in so many words. I mean, sure. I mean, when it comes to when it comes to Joey, I didn't. I, me and Joey met in Fort Lauderdale. Like we met at the beach during before before lockdown started. So that's how we got a friendship. Uh, when it comes to football, I don't really have any friends on the field. Uh, 
I just that's just how I play. The enemy is the enemy. So I mean, we're, it's not like I'm like looking to do something dirty to him, but it's I'm not I'm not out there to be friends. I'm out there to go and do what I gotta do for my team. After the game, we can talk, have conversation, cool. In between the lines, I don't have friends. No. And then uh, we heard that um, Coach Price has kept the, the Commonwealth Cup in some of those team meeting rooms. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to the team when you see the cup sitting there? I don't. It's hard to speak for the whole team. Uh, I know, like me personally, when I see the cup sitting right there, it's, it's hard to like think about losing that again. Like, I'm I'm looking at it like, bro, I, I can't I can't go back to 2019. Like that feeling that I had, I cannot let that happen again. So. I don't know. This is just, we lost the cup and we lost the the coastal. That that was all. That was heart. That was that was heartbreaking. And I don't want that feeling ever again. So, looking at the cup just gives me extra motivation to go out here and just do what we do best and win the game. And you said earlier um, that you guys kind of had a sense what was coming with Coach Fuente, but I know you tweeted you know you wish you could have finished things out with him. Um, what was your reaction to the timing of the move and to? Having to finish your season without your coach. Um, I mean, honestly, it, if you want me to be completely honest, the timing of the decision it it, it wasn't the best. It it, it kind of sucked, but I guess it's business. Like business, is business. That's what I said in my tweet. But I mean, it it was, it was hard. I mean, I, I would have loved to finish my last couple of games with my coach, the one that I came in, started playing with, and I would wanted to finish with him. But things happen. Uh, now, Coach Price is my head coach. I have no problem with that either. Uh, which one say the best? Thanks, man. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right, Aaron, did you uh, have a follow-up? Sure. I guess I'll rephrase my earlier question. Sorry. I mean, uh, how much do you want to play another game after this one? Really bad. I, I really I like bowl games. I, I really love bowl games. I would never not want to play in a bowl game.